Hey, what's going on, guys? GamerDev Tim here, and today we're talking about instance layering and what that means to the World of Warcraft community. Um, instance layering basically allows you to kill any boss in any dungeon or raid on repeat as many times as you want, taking all of the loot and gold from him as many times as you please. Why is that a bad thing? Well, if you kill Baron at the end of Strathholm and you want his mount and the mount drops, say, only 1% of the time, you no longer need to clear the entire dungeon. You can now just farm him on repeat over and over and over again. And that's a massive issue because not only are you going to potentially get the mount way faster than everybody else, you're also going to get all the gear from him, all the gold, any drop that you want. Even worse than the dungeons, this is happening in raids. You're able to kill Ragnaros on repeat. You're able to farm the legendary quest items to get the uh, Thunder Fury or the Hand of Ragnaros. You're able to get these crazy items just by farming bosses on repeat. And just the general tendency of people is to exploit and exploit. And so this has gotten to the point now where I think people were starting to farm Molten Core 10 plus times in like one week. Something crazy like that. And you're able to keep all the gear. They probably have guilds now that are full tier 1 and it's only been out for like two weeks. Um... So let's go through the steps on how to reproduce it here. You can see that I'm on Reddit, instance layering, exploit, dot, dot, dot. Uh, basically, what you need to do is you clear the dungeon with the original group. You all leave the group except for one person. Everybody that left the group gets invited to a new group. The layer is going to switch. I don't know how this works, but the layer is going to switch. The dungeon is going to respawn as you join into a new group, and then you're going to invite everybody back into the same group that you originally cleared the dungeon in, and then you're going to kill the boss over and over again. So basically, like I was saying before, you can now get all the tier one chest pieces. Um, you can start farming all the legendary items, all the big ticket items. I mean, you could probably kill Major Domo and get all of your hunters locked Dalar. Um, their best, you know, bow staff combo with the agility upgrades. Um, you can probably farm any, um, tailoring epic items on repeat. You could sell those on the auction house for crazy amounts of gold. That's going to inflate the auction house so much because if someone finds randomly in the world an item, but these people are exploiting molten core, well, no one's going to want to pay any money for your item if there's something way better for way cheaper on the auction house because these people have been farming it like crazy, exploiting the game to the nines. That's just how it's going to be. So um, what I figured out about this is that the developers of Blizzard are angry and the developers of Blizzard are now looking to ban and I hope even delete some characters. Um, this is just totally ridiculous to me. Um, it doesn't surprise me even a little bit. Uh, from just my experience, I guess I'm a tad pessimistic, but I feel like people take any advantage in life whatsoever and exploit it as hard as they can until they get in trouble. That's just been my experience, and this doesn't shock me at all. The actions I would like Blizzard to take, I want them to ban these people and or delete their characters. I don't think deleting gear is enough. Um, they already... They already influenced the servers so hard. They they mutilated the auction house for a lot of people. Uh, they're ruining a, the experience for a lot of people. If you wanted to say, um, oh, I can't wait until I get tier one and then my character is going to be good. Oh, there's a guy already fully decked out in tier one three weeks after MC came out. Oh, well, why am I even playing this game anymore? Because that just took away from the experience of someone else. They're literally killing the experience for other players. And that is not okay. That, in my opinion, is a bannable offense. That's a delete character. Hey, you're going to start over. Uh, I don't even care if you banned an entire guild. Like, screw them. They can make new characters. They can spend another 15 bucks or whatever on a new account. I like. I know not everybody's in the same financial um, circumstance. $15 or, like, say if someone prepaid $40, bucks, uh, you know, banning the account might be a lot of money for them. They might not come back to WoW. But I think for the amount of people that you impacted on the server, it may actually be warranted. I don't think that you're 
supposed to get away with doing something like that. I mean, you're literally making it so someone who was looking forward to doing something day after day after day since WoW Classic came out may no longer want to actually go and even do MC or go try to defeat Blackwing Lair when that comes out because these people already cheated the game and kind of stole some of their enjoyment and their fun on a wide scale basis. So 40 people for the greater good of hundreds of thousands of players I don't know how many people are on a server. My guess is there's probably like, I don't know, like 80, 100,000 people on a server. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's like a million. I doubt it's a million though. Um, but seriously, that many people being influenced by such a small quantity of players, just get rid of them, honestly, because it's not the, the top level players, the people that didn't go to bed, the people that don't have wives, you know, the people that just have no life but playing World of Warcraft, like, they're not even the core community of World of Warcraft anyways, as we saw through the later expansions of World of Warcraft, where the game was literally only raiding and only um, dungeon, going through dungeons and instant queues and stuff like that. The World of Warcraft fell off so hard because they lost the core player base, which was the average player, the average leveler, the, the guys going through the quests you know, that haven't hit level 60 immediately. The top guys are just these guys that have nothing better to do that play all day, every day, and they'll exploit like crazy. So if they're going to do this type of stuff, get rid of them because they're not even the core basis of World of Warcraft and what makes World of Warcraft great. What makes World of Warcraft great is talking to people, going on quests, walking by someone and they randomly give you a buff and they wave at you or you do a silly emo after defeating, you know, a boss or killing a quest. That's what World of Warcraft is and why it's great. It's not having the best gear ever. Oh, look at me. That sounds almost like like someone that gets like a really nice car. He's like, "Oh, check out my new Ferrari. This is going to make me so happy." And then like 3 weeks later, you're like, "Oh, well, I mean, the Ferrari's still sweet, but, like, I would much rather have, like, a ton of friends and be joking around and playing with people than, like, having this Ferrari, you know? So, that's really the difference. These are the narcissistic WoW players that are just abusing this, like, crazy because they have nothing better to do. They're not part of the core community, and that is my justification for why I think they need to get their characters deleted, why they should probably get banned, even if it has financial repercussions against them, and why I think, overall, this instance layering exploit is a massive issue blizzard needs to deal with this immediately and i saw on reddit that they're getting after this right now and i'm really interested to see what happens in the news i'm gonna be following this on twitter i'm gonna be making sure i keep an eye on this and guys if you're liking the content that i'm producing keep following me comment like subscribe to the youtube channel i'm on instagram at gamer dev tim i'm on twitter at gamer dev tim and i also have a discord server guys appreciate you watching the video and i'll catch you next time later